In this task, we're going to explore classes. Now, in our previous exercise, we looked at naming an ID, a div, a div such as ID equals content, and then heading down and saying hashtag content float right with 23M. Well, this is all very well, but you will recall that divs can only take one name and this name content can only be used once on the page. But suppose that you wanted to do the same formatting over and over again. In this case, we'd need a class. So you will recall from the previous exercise that all the gray background here was missing. And that's because it, the HTML didn't know how far down to go because these two divs are different heights. So we can use this here, div class equals clear me, end div, to show the rendering where these particular divs finish. And we use this here, dot clear me, clear colon both. The dot indicates that this is a class. So we could use clear me on the page several times if we wanted. So we could put two columns here and then clear me and so forth. So that's clear me and we can also use a class called snippet. Snippet puts a blue border here on the left of each paragraph. So you can see each P, this element now P has class equals snippet. We can use it again here, class equals snippet. And to say what formatting we want, we put down here dot snippet, that tells it's a class, border left, solid one pixel blue. And then we've also put some padding to the left of the paragraph, just five pixels to keep this away. If I was to take the class out here and just have a normal paragraph, let's see what happens. The blue line has disappeared. And now we put it back in, it applies this class to the page. Finally, we've put in a footer here. So I've, after the clear me div, I've now got a footer div. This will stretch across the page because remember we've cleared the columns. Thank you for visiting my page. And what have we done? Hashtag footer, because remember we've named this element, this div element footer. So we can use footer, border top solid, two pixels red. So it matches the ones at the top. It's a little bit garish, but it demonstrates the point. Finally, if you wanted to adjust some text within a paragraph, sometimes there's no element available for you to do that. So what we can use here is this. We can use the span tag attached with a class applied to it for just a section of text. So I've got span, class equals my quote, Jurassic Park, end span. And my quote, font style italic, color dark blue and you can see it's applied that if I was to remove the class from there you would see that the Jurassic Park disappears and as soon as I put the class back in that appears so you've now got two ways of dealing with CSS First of all, we've got these selectors, the body or paragraphs or headers. Another way is to use the hashtag a named element, hashtag named element with a selector after it. And finally, a class which can be applied to more than one element on a page. Here we've used clear me, snippet, and my quote. So you should now be able to use classes.